एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम So welcome back to the next part of this video. So in the first part we have learned the importance of differential equation. What is differential equation? How to write a differential equation? What is the order of a differential equation? And how to decide the degree of a differential equation? Now we'll study some more properties of a differential equation. My name is Dr. Neelam. Welcome to Ish Chand Academy. Today we are going to start the topic differential equation. We will learn what is differential equation, how it can be written, a degree and order of the differential equation. If you need more detail, then you can refer to the book from S. Chand Publishing. The details are given in the book from S. Chand Publishing. The link is also given in the description box, so you can get the book from there. So one of the most important uh, property is that linearity property. linearity of a differential equation so linearity is very important concept of differential equation based on which the solution techniques depends so we have uh, i told you in the last part that we have two variables one is x another is y and let us say that this is our independent variable this is independent variable and this is our dependent variable okay any equation which does not involve the multiplication of the dependent variable with itself or with its derivative is called a linear differential equation that is any differential equation of this form let us say f not x dny over dxn plus f1 x dn minus 1 y over dxn minus 1 and so on so forth plus f1 x dy by dx plus f0 sorry f n minus 1 and this is f n x y equals to let us say some r x now in this differential equation at no place y is multiplied with itself or with its derivative all the coefficients of the derivatives they are the either the functions of x or they may be the constant so such a differential equation is called a linear differential equation so how does a non linear differential equation look like suppose let us take a differential equation y dy by dx plus x square is equals to 5 so this differential equation has the multiplication of the dependent variable with its derivative and therefore it it is called as non linear differential equation while if i remove this y from here and we rewrite this differential equation as x square y is equals to 5 now this is a linear differential equation order as we said in the last uh, part of this video order of both the differential equation is 1 and degree is also different or both the differential equation is 1 so that is how the non uh, linearity of a differential equation will be decided we can take some more examples to show the linearity and non linearity of a differential equation so suppose we have d square y by dx square plus y square is equals to let us say 6x square so if such a differential equation is given we need to find out that though the the dependent variable is not multiplied with its derivative but still it is multiplied with itself that is y cross y so that is why this differential equation is also a non linear differential equation right so this is a differential equation for which order is 2 degree is 1 and it is a non linear 
differential equation. Okay, so this is the information we have for this particular differential equation. So now we are able to distinguish between linear differential equation and non-linear differential equation. Since solution techniques differs a lot for both the type of differential equation, so we need to distinguish clearly whether a given differential equation is linear or not. Now, the second property which we need to find out, which need to specify is homogeneity of a differential equation. Homogeneity of a differential equation. So, if let us say the general form of a differential equation, if it is given in this form that f naught x d n y plus f 1 x d n minus 1 y and so on so forth plus f n minus 1 d y plus f n y is equals to this r x. That is all the functions which either involve x that is our independent variable or constant they all has been taken to the right hand side and they have been named as this rx if such a differential equation is given then if rx is equals to 0 it is called homogeneous differential equation homogeneous differential equation and if rx is not 0 that is it may have a constant or it may have a function of x then and if rx is not 0 it is called as non-homogeneous differential equation, non-homogeneous differential equation. So now and onwards whenever we will say that a homogeneous differential equation is being given then we must understand that the, the differential equation does not involve any term which either con contains con uh, simply constant or the function of x. So, that is how the homogeneity of a differential equation will be decided. Next is linear differential equation, linear differential equation with constant coefficient. There are few techniques which are solution techniques which involve which are applicable only when if the differential equation is having constant coefficients. So, this is linear differential equation with constant coefficients. So, if in the previous uh, 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 expression of the differential equation that is f naught x d n y plus f 1 x dn minus 1y and so on so forth plus fn minus 1x dy plus fn xy is equals to rx if all fi's are constants they should not be functions of x if all fi's are constant for all i for all i then the differential equation is then this differential equation is called as linear differential equation with constant coefficients and we we can observe then it is called linear differential equation linear differential equation with constant coefficients. With constant coefficients. Right? 
Now, if we observe this differential equation, so what information we can fetch for this differential equation? That order of this differential equation is n. The degree of this differential equation is 1, right? It is linear in nature and it has uh, linear differential, this is a linear differential equation with constant coefficient if all these f0, f1, fn minus 1, fnx, they are all constant. This condition does not apply on this right hand side. So, right hand side can involve the function of x. So, if we take one example for this type of differential equation, so we can say that 2d square y plus 3dy plus say 4y and equals 2x square plus 2x. So right hand side there is no boundation on the right hand side but the coefficient of the derivative should not uh, uh, the coefficient of the dependent variable or its derivative should not contain any function of x. So then it is called a linear differential equation with constant coefficients. So we have learned uh, that, uh, the or to decide the order of a differential equation, degree of a differential equation. We are able to distinguish between linear differential equation and a non-linear differential equation and then we have moved till linear differential equation with constant coefficients. Right? So, next we will see that uh, when we uh, generally we used to see that initial value problem. So, what are the initial value problems? So, before in going to initial value problem, we must understand what are the initial conditions. Initial conditions. So, initial conditions are, uh, they, they will be given for a differential equation like in this form. Say fx0 is fx is f0 or f dash x0 is f1. So, if, if such type of conditions are given, they are called as initial condition where x0 is the initial point on which this x is relying upon, right. Now, any differential equation which involves a differential equation along with the initial condition that is called as the initial value problem. So, initial value problem is a differential equation. It is a differential equation differential equation with initial conditions. is called initial value problem. Okay. So, if we write down one example for that. So, it will be Okay, so if we write down a differential equation, so let us say that 2 dy by dx plus 3 dy is equals to x and along with that I, we, we are given that y0 is 1. So, where is, uh, it is understood that x is uh, starting from 0 in this one. So, therefore, it is given at uh, the value of y at 0 is given as 1. Now, it is not necessarily that whenever it is, if x is 0, that is the independent variable is 0, then only it is called as the initial condition. No, it is the range on which your independent variable is lying. So, initial point where of the range of your independent variable. So, then it is called the initial value problem. So, in this part of the video, we have learned the uh, differentiation between a linear differential equation and a non-linear differential equation. We have learned what do we mean by homogeneous differential equation. Then we have understood linear differential equation with constant coefficients. Then we have understood the initial value problem which is a differential equation with initial conditions. So, for more details you can go through the book which is from S. Chand Publishing. Details are given on this side and link is given in the description box. So, if you have liked the content please like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification as and when new video will be uploaded.
Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.